What's going on, everybody? Hopefully your week's going pretty well. Um, I had a nice uh, piece of mail come in today, and it's this new slab case, and it's awesome, awesome. And I do apologize because I've had to redo this video about five times because the person at DoorDash is doing my delivery today. First, they sent me a message, and it was meant for somebody else. So I had to stop what I was doing. And then, like, two minutes later, they sent me a long paragraph, and I put the phone to the side, had to stop and redo the video again. Needless to say, it's gone on, like, four or five times now. Five, because this is the fifth time doing the video. So I do apologize. I'm going to go kind of slow with this just to make sure I hit all the points that I originally had in the video. So just bear with me on to this. So a little backstory on to this. Um, originally, I've always wanted one of these cases, and I picked one up from eBay, and it came, and it was one of the ones, and I'm going to blow this up real quick. So as you can see, this is cut out. This, the one I got, you had to pluck the styrofoam cubes out inside and make your case the way you wanted to. It sounded good, but trust me, it was horrible. The slabs didn't fit right. The cubes weren't right sizes onto it. I even went out and had the, oh, the top of it. It's up here. I know you guys can barely see where my hand is. But it wouldn't close right because, like, they had solid foam on the bottom. Then you had to pluck. And it was horrible. I bought uh, the proper stuff for it. I couldn't get it to go right, and I just stopped. I quit. Took everything, threw it away, pretty much $150 down the drain just because I was frustrated. So I went online and I found another seller that had these. And they were pre-cut like this, got it, was very happy with it. Um, I think it was that one there was three rows. Pretty sure it was three rows because I put it now in storage because it's a nice looking Pelican case and everything like that. So from there... About a week ago, um, Oof, who's a subscriber or a member of the channel, however you want to word it, OOFF is a screen name, so if you ever see him in the chat, that's him. Real name Brian sent me an email asking me if I knew anybody or if I was interested in a 10-row uh, slab case. I thought about it, and I almost wanted to get it, but most of my stuff isn't even here. It's in uh, safety to boxes because I just feel safer with it there than in my home for some reason. So I called Joey up from CBC, told him about it, and he ended up getting driving down, picking it up, and grabbing a couple of these cases like this here. I think he has a six row and a couple four rows or something like that. Um, he was overall happy, did a video of it. So if you've seen his video already, you're pretty much seeing kind of the same thing on this video here. So I do apologize on that as well. Um, we spoke for a little bit back and forth, correspond by email, and I ended up getting a four row from him, and it did come in today. Very, very impressed overall with how it was made and how the styrofoam is. The handle here is really uh, good. It's plastic, but it has the grip here, which I like, for where you're going to put your hand at. So it's not going to wear away the plastic. There are locks on this, and I know it's right below the screen here. So you can lock it. He gives you a set of keys for it. The styrofoam, it's on top. And when you go to uh, top camera, I'll try to show a little bit better. But it sits perfect to where when you close it, it's not going to crush your cards. You don't have to worry about it. Very, very well made. Looks like a briefcase. I got actual pictures I'll show everybody. And again, his email is going to be in the description if you're interested in these. They're, they're beautifully made. Very beautiful. And they're sturdy. I should say sturdy too. I'm just really happy overall with it. So let me blow this up real quick. We usually don't do this with a top camera. So real quick, this here is all my PSA slabs that you're seeing on your left right there. Uh, they fit in there perfectly across the board. I, I just kind of have them leaning a little bit, which kind of uh, defeats the purpose. But they fit in there perfectly. These are your Beckett slabs. They're in there nice and tight. One touches fit great. These are some top loaders that I stuck in. Now, SGC does not fit into these at all. I guess you could kind of at an angle. But if you want something for SGC, let him know, and he could cut the styrofoam to match that. So... A lot of this stuff that he does all on his own, and he could get it made, custom made to what you want. 
And that's what you want from somebody that's making these, that they could do custom alterations to it. Now, of course, I have these leather cases, like uh, I'll put here, like this here. I don't even know who that is. It's Zion. And I did originally have them sticking up like this. They wouldn't fit because why? Because the leather cases make it stick up further. So um, I do have a booklet in here as well, too. Yes, that's Kyler Murray rookie booklet. Uh, and it on its side fits perfectly, closes perfectly, and everything onto it. Very well made. Um, let me read what he wrote me in here. The four row holds 180 PSA slabs, so it's 45 cards per row. The six will hold 270 PSA slabs, and the eight will hold 360. Um, for back it. For about every 100 PSA cards, it's probably about 60-ish, I would say. Because when I put these three in here, it pretty much took up about, I would say that's about one, two, about four, maybe four and a half PSA slabs, roughly. So it gives you an idea offhand of what you could fit into it. Alrighty here. I'm just looking through the email to make sure there's anything else that I need to put on to it. But he does have six and eight rows. If you need something bigger, he can do it offhand. Alright, I'm going to go to the picture time here. Picture time, picture time. Alright, this is the four row right here just so you can see. So that top foam sits perfectly to where you need it to be in order for this to close and not put stress on your slabs at all. And that's what I was talking about the first one. They, they just threw it together and thought it was the coolest thing ever, and it was horrible, horrible. So as you can see, the four rows are cut into it. And again, if you need them bigger, he can work bigger. He just needs measurements and stuff like that. Uh, very, very beautifully made when you look at this. Now I'll pull that down. There's a top ver another version with uh, what he sent me with all the... Uh, tops going across and then this is what they look like right here on the outside with the briefcase look I believe this is the eight row one here mine's similar just smaller offhand very very nicely made again this is something like the four row that I like about it more than my three row because it's more of a pelican this hair is going to fit into an airplane overhead compartment or under the seat in front of me to where I don't have to worry about it. If I'm flying and I want to set up at a Dallas show and rent a table and rent display cases, this is perfect for it. Perfect. Uh, for travel and everything, because I've already <laughs> played around with it, um, this fits very well because I have a Cherokee between my back seat and where I normally keep my front seat at for the passenger side. On the floorboard there, perfect uh, going right into it. Um, it's amazing. It's like he like he honestly read my mind with this uh, here with everything that I do, uh, either daily, monthly, or whatever with traveling. This works out perfect because I can stack these on top of each other. Unlike the Pelican cases, they got those ridge rows on top, so they're a little bit wobbly when you stack them. This here. This is this is really well thought out. Again, I, I'm really impressed by this. Brian, you outdid yourself. I mean, I don't know what else I could really say. Uh, whoops, wrong picture. So this here, two, four, six. This is the eight row. Huge case, and you don't really see it until this next picture. And it's like huge. It reminds me of a guitar case in a way. I know it's double what I have here. And I'm sorry, guys. That's my work computer beeping away. On to, because uh, I forgot to hit mute on to it. Uh, I have no idea who's all sending messages. <laughs> Craziness over on the work side of the house. But very, very beautifully made overall. The uh, eye appeal is there. The startability is there on to it. The shipping, the uh, way he shipped it was really, really good too. Um, packaged. Uh I mean, like I said, I'm still baffled that somebody actually made something like this, and it's really good quality from what I've seen. Now, not to take away, I do know two other people that made these originally. Uh, this was a long time ago. One guy no longer makes them. 
The other guy is sold out through the year through all of his orders. So if you're looking for these, I would uh, get in contact with him because probably within the next week or two, I'm going to post these in some Facebook groups that I belong to. And I know guys are probably going to be uh, hitting him up, but I don't know how much he has in stock of these. But if it's anything like I knew with the other two guys, their stock went very quickly because everybody wants these for shows, for traveling, just for, you know, home stuff and everything like that. Just double checking to make sure I hit everything he put in his email here on to here. Okay, that is everything he told me on to it. A lot of this stuff was just my general knowledge because this being my third, um, I call it a slab case. And very nice here. I'm going to put this down real quick just so you guys kind of can see. Uh, let me take this picture down. So that's the top of it up here, and I don't have it fully shut, of course. But really nice up there. And I do have something sticking up in here, and I don't remember. Oh, I know what it is. Um, I got stuff that's too big into here. That's probably why offhand. But I had it closed a minute ago. It's probably because I was shoving too many PSA slabs in one spot at one time. Now it should... There he goes, right to there. So, locks really nice. Open it up. All my stuff's well protected. This foam up here is really good. It's not the stiff stuff on top. And that's where my issue was, like I said, with the first company I bought from. If you guys have questions, want anything custom done, want to purchase these, again, his email is going to be in the description. Check them out. Give them a holler. Real nice guy to work with and everything, especially if you want anything custom on them. Again, Brian, this, this is a great case. I appreciate um, everything that you put into this. It's very well made. Uh, I, I wish you luck on to the business side of the house of it because I know it starts getting frustrating with the website building because I wasn't a website guy either. But eventually everything will work works out with the website stuff there I, I he's like me we're not real uh website you know coding people and it's kind of painful in doing them but check them out email is in the description everybody um like i said if you have any questions you want to order them he can give you the prices on to them and if you want sgc slabs or anything it's thicker to fit into it he can work with you guys into making it custom and that's that's the outstanding part of it. All right, everybody, thank you for watching the video. I will catch you all next video.